Hello, everyone. Welcome to... Welcome... Welcome. To... Tuesday. And welcome to another fall bolo list. This is gonna be a fun one. I don't think yes. we've ever done one of these before. I think we maybe have one. I think way, way back in the day, I did one on my own. On the old white wall. And then more recently, we did one a while ago. It was at least a year ago. It was a I don't even remember I... what was on it, so hopefully there's no crossover here. Pay attention to this one. <laughs> what this, this is, good is, one. is 10 fall men's bolo brands. I mean, let's be honest, all all of them actually do make women's going mm -hmm. through this there are none of these that exclusively make men's it is quite rare that you find a brand that only makes men's i actually mm -hmm. think on the coat list that we did like two weeks ago bode literally bode started my, out as a men's bode for a long time was only men's and i think that's, one of, the, that's one of the only brands mm -hmm. i've ever seen that like started and for a long time only made men's all these make women's so when we list these off obviously look in every section for these brands these are good mm -hmm. no matter what section you find them in some of them even make kids if you find oh, yeah. kids by these mm. brands get that as well we wanted to make some men's bolo and all of these make a lot of men's mm -hmm. and some of them actually do kind of focus on men's so that's kind of like the angle we're coming at with these a lot of them also make like summer and spring clothes too mm -hmm. but we're just talking about the fall here these brands all make very good coats very good sweatshirts very good etc none of them are exclusive to fall none of them are exclusive to men's but you get the idea mm -hmm. long story short this is a men's fall bolo list to make a long brands. story short <laughs> before we jump That's into dirty. it if you are new here and you are interested in our top 10 i mean they're not top 10 they're just 10 our 10 10 item lists our general 10 we do bolos all the time or trends in like tens in videos so if you're mm -hmm. interested in that be sure to subscribe because we do them all the time and then we also have hauls and all kinds of fun reselling and fashion things and if you're not new you can give us a thumbs up if you'd like we love Thanks. that <laughs> appreciate it i guess we will just jump into this list i don't really have uh. much else to say except i think that on Thursday, you guys are getting another Ben's fall from me. Oh. Ryan, once again, would like a break. He's just been very, very busy. I'm sorry. I'll, next week, I'll be back regular. Re See, this is my break. Regularly <laughs> scheduled programming. Yes. I taught all week last week. This weekend, which are my two normal days off, um, I was volunteering. I was the director of a children's tent for an art festival. So yes. I was on my feet for 10 hours a day, running around dealing with children and arts and crafts in the outside. And I helped him out one of the days for half Jack of the time. And it's... Oh. A lot. He was on last week's second channel video. So that was fun. Yes, that he, was a he good was time. Present for that, and I don't think he will be this week, just because I know what it's gonna be. Let's jump in to the ten men's bolo brands for fall that you should be picking up to resell on Poshmark or eBay or etc. The first <laughs> brand is a brand called Amiri and as usual I'll be putting like the brand logo and labels and all the like looks and styles right here. So Amiri is a very very expensive brand. I believe Amiri is the one where if you ever kind of like are browsing through the real real they make a lot of things with like an alligator on it and it's hmm. really cute. But anyways Amiri does have runways because like I said they're extremely expensive and on their runways they mainly have it like as men's looks and men's wear I did see a couple screenshots from some like females on a runway but I watched through like two of them and it was like only men so I don't really know if every once in a while like, they do a female one but they really do focus on their men's line. Those like men's brands but like women buy them all the time too. Like, I don't know if the runways there's like a little bit of female runways I don't really know but mainly question. it's men's runways but they do make women's. They do a lot of like streetwear looks. A lot of their stuff is like distressed, kind of like torn apart. There's like spray paint or paint splatter or like patches or graffiti, all that kind of fun stuff. They also do some things that are of course close to my heart. They make some things with bones and like <laughs> skeletons. They have some skeletons. shoes that are like skeleton feet. They have a oh, bomber, those are cute. A bomber mm -hmm. jacket with like the arm bones and stuff. That 
so I love off. that stuff. Amiri, since it is so expensive, it is sold at Saks Fifth, it is sold at Essence and Nordstrom and probably a whole bunch of other places online and at high-end department stores. Now for the retail, we are actually breaking down the retail since these brands make all kinds of things. We're going to tell you guys what the retail range is for jeans from these brands and what it is for coats. And same for the mm -hmm. comps. We're going to do those two categories because it's hard to generalize every category. Obviously, they would have some coats that are probably like 5,000, but then they'd have shorts that are like 100. So that doesn't really help you if we just tell you the general no. range. And just like for fall vibes. Yeah. So we're going to do jeans and coats. So for Amiri, their jeans retail very, very high. I did not know they retail this high. They retail from 700 to $1,200. Well, oh, you buy a $1,200 per jeans. And their coats retail from 1000 to 2500 So it's kind of funny that you could go on Amiri's website and buy a pair of jeans for more than the pair of coat that's the pair of coat. For more than the coat that is also on the site. That's, that's just expensive. That's kind of strange. <sighs> but... Actually, for the comps, their jeans, there must be something in this denim. There's something in the, isn't there something in the water? Isn't that like a song? I think so. Something in the denim. <laughs> Because their jeans, the comps on them are two hundred to a thousand dollars. Can you imagine selling a pair of jeans for a thousand dollars? I know. So if you Ooh. think like the higher end of the Amiri jeans are twelve hundred, and you can sell them for a thousand dollars, that's crazy. That's so a for really them to good keep term. that much value, they must they must be good. I don't know what's in them, but there must be something great. I don't know what it is about them jeans. And the bro. comps on the coats, they lose their value a little bit more. They are two hundred to a thousand. So obviously still some like pretty good money that's but expensive still yeah For i don't resale i was like what is with these jeans next one on our list is definitely one of the most like out there it's we're getting into a little it's a little funky it's not more of like practical fashion as much as it is like an art exhibit we'll call it like artsy experimental fashion yes so the brand is rick owens mr rick owens which also um so i know if you look up like designer rick owens he's kind of terrifying looking like he's this really old like buff guy with like four strands of like jet black hair he looks like the person that would make this clothes. yes exactly wasn't he a head designer for like louis or gucci recently i don't know he did one of them i don't remember yeah probably or maybe balenciaga maybe that was why balenciaga got balenciaga got kind of dark i don't no, he, was, he was he was one of them. So, like Jack said, he also makes men's and women's stuff. He, like I said, is a lot of, like, strange. He's very, like, out there. So he will make a jacket with, like, three sleeves. Or he'll, like, put a sleeve on somebody's head. And that's a hat. <laughs> actually, though. Like, that run by picture is actually really funny. Or, like, I think Jack has one of his pieces he's selling. <laughs> I have a coat from Rick Owens. And... It's terrifying. It's it like was, a prison cell. It was it's on, terrifying. It was on a runway. And the lady who's wearing it has one of the, like... Yeah, that's what that's from. Hat. It's kind of like, imagine you, like, put all these really luxury expensive materials in a sewing machine and just hit, like, shuffle. Yes. And that's how it turns out. But he also, he does a lot of, like, facial covering. Like, the sleeve yeah, ones, he doesn't a like lot faces. of times he'll just cut out a mouth like a ski... Like a ski mask. It's like a balaclava. But it yeah. just, yeah. I, I don't pretend to understand it. I wear Flintstones t-shirts and Levi's jeans from the yes. bins. He definitely is like very runway oriented. He is one of those luxury fashion houses where they have a men's and women's runway. And I don't, don't quote me, but I think he like combines them. So we'll have like men's looks, women's looks like in the same show under the same like collection. A lot of his stuff could be worn. A lot of his either. stuff is literally just like clothes. It's just. Like there, you cannot put a gender when on we make, You cannot put a gender on a sleeve hat. You no. Know what I mean? When we make one of my. <laughs> lean and say it's like you just throw a sheet of fabric on yourself this is like literally that but you take eileen and you take a couple of zeros on the end of it like yeah. oof, it's expensive so because he obviously is like a very defined very well-known luxury fashion house he has sold at places like ukes essence i call it Sussense, the big top tier really high-end department stores i think now he's kind of like merging a little bit more into like streetwear especially with his like men's sneakers i know some of the like rick owens like men's sneakers are like really popular yeah, except i will say he did a converse collab and oh, a Birkenstock it's so, collab. It's so ugly. He didn't it's change so anything. Bad. He, he didn't wrote, change anything. He did like a little phrase he, and they were like $500. He wrote words on them. They but weren't... like not even not even like fun graffiti like typed tiny little words on like the back bottom and then it was like 
worth five times the price. I, this jeans, which is denim brand, is different. The denim brand is dark shadow, but there's no vowels. So it's like D-R-K-S-H-D. It's like girlfriend and silver leg. And all it's that. very like that kind of moment. They retail for about $200 to $900. The coats go from about $1,200 to $9,000. That $9,000 mark is definitely like it walked off the runway into some Nordstrom like really high-end clients closet. And it's Rock probably like money. cuts of leather and stuff. That's like real expensive. And so his stuff definitely resells like kind of all over the place. The jeans, $150 to $400 and the coats are $500 to $2,000. The coats still like they hold that crazy high re like if it's $9,000 like that's a house payment. Mm -hmm. That's like a down payment. You get a used car. Instead. You literally could get a used car. Number three is a brand called Palm Angels. And I will admit, I always thought this brand was called Palm Angeles, like Los Angeles. <laughs> Until today, I was doing my research and I just kept rereading it. And all of a sudden, I'm like, there is not a second E. That is Palm Angels. So Palm <laughs> Angels. Wait, how many E's are in Los Angeles? There's an E between the L and S. Angeles. Okay. Palm Angels <laughs> is another very expensive one. Unfortunately, with men's, we kind of once again had to go that route of like very high end ones because there just aren't that many besides bread and butter, like North mm -hmm. Face and Patagonia and whatever for men. So they do have runways once again, and theirs is also mainly their men's items. They do make men's and women's though, and this is one of the brands that actually does make children's items too, which Aww. is kind of fun. We love expensive kids' clothes. They use their logo quite a lot. Their Shirts and stuff are like graphic shirts quite often. Like they look like Supreme. They're like Supreme where it's like everything says their name and there's like a picture on it. I literally can't even picture what this logo <laughs> looks like. I've never heard of Supreme before. It's like- Which it's, is my learning opportunity. <laughs> I can't explain that. It's like the font, this is probably gonna be so wrong, but the font is kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <gasps> Isn't it? It's like Captain Morgan. Yeah. It's like yeah. Captain Morgan font. Yes, it is. It's like, there's probably some like smarter name for that font, but I- It's a very- It looks, so, it looks very renaissance. Me went to type school. It's a serif. Great. Which ha means it has a little doodads on it. Since Palm Angels is so expensive, it is sold at all these same places. Essence, Ukes, Saks Fifth, all those fun, expensive stores. <laughs> places we can afford. And the retail for their jeans are about $600 to $900. And the coats retail for about $800 to 1000 so not as big of a window. And the comps on the jeans are about 175 to 450 and the comps on the coats are about 300 to 500 so a little bit less than the last two that we just talked about, but That's definitely still steady, though. nothing too low. I'm not sure going to stick no. a $300 sale. No. No, ma'am. Okay, so our next one is one that I have actually found once before, and I found it in the bins. And, and finally, this one's actually a little... It's, Definitely this is cheaper than the this other. This is ones. like save you pennies, but still like accessible. So the brand is called Clot, C L O T. I really don't like that name. <laughs> they unfortunately do not do runways. They are more of like the seasonal lookbook situation. They do obviously make men's and women's, just like I think every other brand on this list. They are very streetwear catered. So a lot of their stuff is like Eastern inspired with all the colors and all the patterning and all the graphics. They definitely do a lot of collabs. The one that I found was actually a collab with, I think it was Huff. The skateboard mm -hmm. company, if I'm not mistaken. It was one of those like Zoomies, like skateboard companies. Nike, Carhartt, Sokai, Converse. They do kind of like with anything that has like a streetwear presence, I guess. They are sold on Ukes from the research we did, which Ukes I think is kind of like expensive, but also they can have some stuff that like is yes. a little bit more on the affordable side of things. And obviously they're sold on their own website. The retail unfortunately is in um, the Hong Kong currency. And so Expensive. I, wasn't, I, I wasn't sure. Yes. I, I know. I, I was able to find the retail on the one t-shirt I found, and I think it was $90 to $180 range. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in there. Um, the jeans sell for about $65 to $100, and the coats sell for about $75 to 250 so still like that's a good sale like yes. i'm not mad at a 75 dollar yeah mm -mm. yeah so when ryan said that they are very eastern inspired clot is actually and why the website is in hong kong money clot <laughs> is from like china yes so it's not maybe they like use appropriate no they use They're from china. they use a lot of like pictures of traditional like, cultural or like traditional like the chinese calligraphy yes like all that kind of yes thing. they use that kind of stuff it's so a number five on our list is a brand called neil barrett the name of the brand might not sound familiar to you, but I have a strong feeling a lot of you will know it when I hit a certain a certain little description of what this brand makes. When we hit the factory. So first of all, <laughs> this brand has seasonal lookbooks.
books. They do not have runways, 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 but they do make men's and women's items. This brand uses a lot of gray and black and white, which is a little bit of neutral like sand mixed in there too. A sand, a dusty tan. They are known <laughs> by probably you and by many people for their lightning bolt shirts and jackets and sweatshirts. It was worn on- Jack has one. I have one, yes, I do. Thank you, Cynthia. And it was worn by, on Schitt's Creek, it was worn by- David. David. Dan Levy's character. The lightning bolts that are like coming out of the neck, that is his like big signature thing. I think that that's like, that is literally his signature David item. also wears a lot of Rick Owens. Interesting. This brand is, while they don't have runways, still very expensive once again. Mm -hmm. Sold on Farfetch'd, sold on Essence, sold on Ukes. You're gonna hear these players quite often on A this lot list. of the time, that's what these people The call. retail for his jeans are 400 to 600, and the retail for coats that he makes are 600 to 1,300. And if you find a pair of the jeans, you can expect to sell them for between 800 and 225. And the coats go for about 100 to 600. So it doesn't keep its value as as much as like a Miri, but it's still a good find if you find one. And they're cute Especially too. Especially if you found like a lightning bolt thing. Oh. People like look for those. We love the lightning bolt t-shirts. Okay. The next one is actually a brand that I was obsessed with way, way, way back in the day. The brand is called D Squared. D-S-Q-U-A-R-D and then the two at the end of it because it's like a math ED. equation. ED, did I not say ED? It's like a math equation, which- An art teacher, not an English teacher. I had a little girl today getting off topic. So we had free choice and she did math. And I was like, why are you doing math in our class? And she goes, that's what's gonna get me a job. <laughs> she was in like fourth grade and I was like, fair. Back to D squared. They do have runways. They are definitely kind of like an under, not underappreciated, but like a less known, like very expensive, like design house. They also make men's and women's and they do make some of the cutest little kids things. They're very cute. They are very inspired by streetwear, kind of like clot. They have a lot of logos, a lot of paint, a lot of splatters, a lot of like everything in the kitchen sink kind of put on the t-shirt. Canada. Yes, they're very Canadian. <laughs> they're very, very, very Canadian. Yes. My favorite D-squared piece that I've ever seen in my entire life was this dress and it was like a Western comic book that was just like, wrapped around this dress. Love that. It was really cute. They are sold at places like Neiman's, Ukes, Essence, Farfetch'd, any of like the fun, new, trendy, like hip designer websites. Their jeans retail for about 500 to a grand and their coats go for about 800 to $3,500. Which is insane, but they are very cute though. Like they're very, very cute. Uh, the comps jeans go for about 100 to 250, and the coats go for about 200 to 800 dollars. I was gonna say the thing but. for me is there's definitely a handful of D squared stuff. Probably the stuff that you'd maybe end up finding in thrift stores. It doesn't look expensive. No, like, it never does. It really. You found that D squared. I found a Justin D squared. Vest. Yes, oh, it was so vest funny. once with like. It was like print leopard. Color. It was like leopard print. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I. <laughs> It's very one of those brands that's like, you find it and you're like, this is some, $700. Yes, <laughs> like it's, it's very like that kind of Some of the brand. graphic tees, especially from like years in the past, they just don't, we don't need to talk they about don't those. look expensive. They're just not good. But they are. So grab it if you find it. Yes. So up next, number seven on the list is a brand called Fear of God. And this brand makes all kinds of clothing for men and women. It's actually all very, very gender neutral. I don't even know if they have like menswear and womenswear on their website. It's a lot of like I'm pretty suits. sure it's like it's sweatshirts, like t-shirts. Like it's, like it's a lot of just, and neutral colors. Very just like anyone could wear it any Green, age. Green, beige black, white. Fear of God has lookbooks. They are currently on season seven. They literally just like go one by one. And I think they put a little label in it, like what season it's from. And this is Oh, seven. that's nice. Yeah. Okay, but like, so if you find So they're it, also pretty young. Then. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So Fear of God also has two other lines and it's F-O-G, Fear of God, or Fog, I guess. Fog. And Essentials. And the funny thing about Essentials, <laughs> I found this out today. Stuff. Essentials by Fear of God is actually sold at PacSun. I think it's sold other places too, but it's sold at PacSun. If you like, it's very, Fear of God is very like, if PacSun people had a lot of money. It's still good to pick up. So if you, you find the essential stuff, the retail is like only like 80 to 150. Still though, it keeps like all of its value. Mm -hmm. Anyways, normal Fear of God or FOG Fear of God is sold on Essence, Nordstrom, Forward, and all kinds of expensive places. Fear of God uses a lot of neutral colors, lots of tan and cream. 
cream. Lots of like what you picture like army type colors, like navy army type colors. And they do a lot of the same like army type styles. They do military mm -hmm. style jackets, cargo pants, all that kind of stuff. We love a cargo pant. And their jeans retail between 600 and 700. Literally like every single pair is 650 exactly. I don't know <laughs> if they do that on purpose, but I noticed I that. Know. And really? then their coats retail between 900 and 3000. If you find a pair of their jeans, you can expect between 150 and 400. And if you find a coat by Fear of God, they sell for 250 to 550. They're expensive. So number eight on our list is a brand that I think I found once or twice, maybe in mm -hmm. the past, don't quote me. I have. The brand is called Paul Smith. The name is very unassuming. Do not let the little tags fool you. They make all kinds of fun stuff. They are definitely like not super luxury. They do the seasonal lookbooks, kind of like Fear of God. They also have a diffusion line called PS by Paul Smith. Like PS. Mm -hmm. Paul Smith. They are very kind of like a Madewell J. Crew esque situation where like they do make basic stuff and they do make like a traditional dress shirt and then they kind of like have some areas where they like give a little pizzazz. Mm -hmm. They'll make like a fun sweater or like a really fun print little dress shirt where it's like definitely office appropriate but like fun office. I was gonna say it'll mm -hmm. still be like just a mock neck, crew neck, turtleneck, like normal sweater. It'll just be a really cute. They pin. just give it a little something, something. some some good colors yeah, or like cute. a fun face on it or something. It's super cute. So they are sold at places like Essence and Nordstrom's definitely like intermix with all of the really expensive things is like the mid tier expensive stuff. Their jeans retail for about $175 to $300 and the coats go for about $300 to $1,500. That is when you're looking at more like the leathers. Yeah. Like the more expensive with like the Paul Smith they, kind of stuff like it's a leather jacket or like a leather suede something or other. If it's leather it goes up to like $5,000. Like which again leather jackets are just always like with, leather anything. With a lot of really a lot of the ranges on stuff we give we're not always counting the like way out there like the leather pieces. like a pair of like made wool leather pants is like is like four hundred dollars. Yeah. Like so, just anything leather is inherently really expensive. Yeah. They sell for about the coats, the jeans. Sorry, go for about thirty dollars to about one seventy five. Thirty is definitely like an older style. Probably has like some condition Mid -rise, issues. Mid rise, plain, dark just wash, not fun, or just like a not that flattering looking Ben style. But it's in like the bins, a bad wash. Obviously, good little bins find thirty dollars. Everyone yeah. knows thirty dollars sale. And then the coats go for about seventy five to four hundred bucks, yeah. which is like to ching money in the bank all day. Yeah, love it. So number nine on the list is probably my favorite on the list. I've never heard of it. And this. it is a brand called Undercover. Undercover. Undercover is a Japanese brand and they definitely have runways. They have actually done an entire collection with Valentino and when we were at the outlets, oh, I almost bought multiple things from them. That was that. Okay. Yes, they did a whole collab with Valentino that had spaceships and UFOs and skulls all over it and it's just like beautiful. It was so cute. So they do make men's and women's and they they make the most like intricate amazing graphics on things like they put art or photography onto like a raincoat or like a mm -hmm. sweater like it's insane that they can get such like detailed prints onto some of these like fabrics especially some of those sweaters yes that's knitting i that's when i was hard. doing the research found one that i need by them it is called like the attacking monster sweater or something and it's literally like this like silhouette of Godzilla like hunched over a mountain like blowing his fire down to the ground and it's like this like amazing like thick sweater. I love it. We gotta find that. Yes. So yeah, they literally put like photos and like paintings onto clothing. <laughs> On it's amazing. Sweaters. Yes. They're sold at Essence, Mr. Porte, Nordstrom, Farfetched, and many others. Their jeans go from about 500 to 1,000 retail, and then their coats go from 1,000 to 3,000 retail. And the comps on their jeans are about 300 to 600, so they do keep their value quite a lot. And then their coats can sell for about 200 to 1,500. So you're gonna be making a pretty penny if you find undercover. I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that is the kind of stuff where it's like, it's just hard to find like oh, new yeah. so the fact that like if you find it and i don't think it gets like marked down much no definitely consider paying off that and they stuff. have i think collabed with like balenciaga and stuff too so they they oh, collab like, oh. with <laughs> they're not like some of the ones that ryan has talked about where they collab with like tommy hilfiger and stuff they these they collab they with, collab like, with like big dogs yeah they're talking to the, they're talking to the big guys our final brand on this list i'm sorry i found our list on this brand my words is kith kith Kith. Give me a kith. K I T H. 
it's just fun to say. So they are definitely like the little queens of collabs. They have collabed with <laughs> Coca. So preface, they don't actually make anything for themselves. They just well, make stuff I with collabs. They do. They, there's regular kiss. Not much. There's a little bit. Most of the stuff and probably the stuff you would probably find in a thrift store is some kind of collab. Uh, Coca-Cola, Calvin Klein, Asics, The Simpsons, Vans, Tommy Hilfiger, Versace, and many Everything more. Under Literally the sun. many more. They and are so much more. I was not going to type out the whole list of their collabs. I think they did um, a Peanuts collab at some point. They're... I think they've done a Flintstones collab. It reminded like, they've literally me... literally done everybody. It reminded me of opening ceremony. One time I was looking at their website, and they have a section of their website called, like, Our Collabs, and I was, like, scrolling through. It's, like, through. six pages. And, and that's stuff. what this was like. I was like, who? And it's, like, everything. It's, like, TV shows, pop culture things, like, Coca-Cola, like, everything. It's literally, like, if you have any kind of social relevancy... <laughs> Do you want to do a kiss collab? If you've been viewed, consumed, like read, like worn, they're gonna collab. They're like, them. we should do something. Let's make a T-shirt. Yeah. Um. So they're very streetwear oriented. They do a lot of like really fun graphic T-shirts that I see all the time in the real real, and I love them. When they do like the collabs, it'll be like the Flintstones T-shirt, but it'll just say like kiss. Or maybe they do the thing where it's like over their eyes, like a bar. That's it'll like do they like you'll know. Or and then it'll say like up in the back of the tag, it'll be like whatever cultural reference and kiss, which I think is hysterical. They are sold up mainly their own kiss website and then you can get their stuff second hand on the real real I as think, well i think new i think think that they're only sold on their own website that i could not funny. find them on any other website especially if they're doing collabs like they don't want you to like be able to go to nordstrom and get it Maybe like they probably they probably want to sell it themselves which like that's really fine the jeans retail for about 200 to 400 dollars the coats retail from about 200 to 750 and the comps on the jeans are about 100 to 250 comps on the coats 100 to 400 bucks mm -hmm. easy money Easy money for a t-shirt with a Coca-Cola bear for and a Kith Simpsons logo on it. graphic t-shirt. For a pair of Vans with the Kiths on it. Okay, anyway. so that is all that we have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> yes, we, this was, it was just, it was a little bit more challenging, not gonna lie, to put together a men's brand list because obviously, like I said, all these brands make women's too. And I was really trying to focus, like all the comps and stuff, I only looked under men's just to like really focus in on that. On these, I'd probably go do a little bit more research on them. Do a Google deep dive. Yeah. That's see, always fun. So you can see the comps on like other categories and see what the Look women's comps are, stuff, yeah. what kind of, yeah, women's pieces they've made. But all these brands, if you see them, you found money. Snatch them you up. big money. Let us know what other fun fall videos you guys want to see. Do you want to see more bolos? Do you want to see something totally different? Let us know. And Tell I me. will see you guys on Thursday for another haul. And Ryan and I will see you guys on Saturday. Pro, and it's going to be our good watch for Saturday. I've had a good week so far. Good. For what's on Saturday. And then, of course, every week, at least until Halloween, there will be a second channel video on Friday, so you can go check that out, too. Yes, there will. Bye. Goodbye.